Git versus GitHub. That is the question. A lot of you guys are confused about, is it the same thing? Is it different? How do I use them? Well, I am here to clear it up for you. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so check this out. Git, my friends, is Git is a version control system that was created a long time ago in order to make developing easier. Think of it as like making versions of your application and saving versions of your application. That is what you think about it, right? And Git lives on your local host machine. So let's say, for example, you initialize a project, you create your project, okay? You've got the folder, you've got the files, right? You do git init inside your local host environment, inside your application, and that initializes the git repository. And so what happens now is that git now tracks all your files. Let's say you went ahead and you changed something in a file. Let's say you changed the header, for example, in an HTML page, whatever it might be. It will go ahead and now track that. Every time you commit, you commit one change, okay? Let's say now you change something else, you commit another change. It keeps tracking the changes. And so the reason why we do this is so that later on we can go back and refer to those changes or we can go back and revert to those changes if something was to go wrong okay now github was a website that was created also a long time ago to work directly with git okay meaning it's a basically a git repository but remotely meaning online that's what remotely means okay so now how do those two work the way they work is you let's say you have your project on git okay you, on your machine on your computer now what you do is you go ahead and upload that project that git git repository project onto github and the reason why we upload to github so that later on your team or let's say your team can go ahead and actually look at that project and now pull that project into their machine into their computer meaning a lot of team members as you upload a project a lot of team members now, now are now able to see your changes oh come on so with GitHub, your team members can now use it as well. Meaning you upload your project to GitHub and now other team members that you work with can now download that project using something called Git clone. So you do Git push to push it up to GitHub. Then you do Git clone to pull it down for GitHub, okay? Now, another reason why you might also use GitHub, of course, is because let's say you don't want it, something to happen to your project. It's like basically uploading, uploading your project to the cloud so that it's always there, right? And it just makes it so easier for you to visualize your project, to see your files and for everybody to use. So that, my friends, is Git versus GitHub. Again, just to, to understand, give you a summary. Git is on your local host machine. It is on your computer. GitHub is on a website. It's on a remote server. So, and then what you simply do is you use Git, Git push or whatever it might be to connect it to GitHub. And then, so now your project is always connected to GitHub and your project is always now either pushing or pulling from GitHub. But those are the two most important connections that you need to know and you need to make. And so yeah, hopefully guys, that cleared this out. Just do not, you know, think of these as two the exact same things they're completely different but they do work very nicely together and that's why they were created so hopefully that was helpful if you did let us know down in the comments below of course go ahead and like this video because we do work hard and let's go ahead and smash that like button down below to defeat that youtube algorithm because that algorithm is so you know it's a trickster my friend you know so defeat the youtube algorithm and subscribe to this channel of course so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video. Let's go.